Hey gamers. In today's video I'm going to share more information that will happen in season 11 and more leaks. So if you're ready to know, make sure to subscribe first, because our milestone today is to reach 10k subscribers. Anyway, let's go to our first topic of this video. As you can see in this trailer, this lucky draw for Spectre, Ultra 9 is back. Just check later if you want to buy, from those who have not yet bought. Next is the rank protection. Basically, during the event, losing a ranked match will not deduct it in your rank XP. This event lasts until this Sunday, make sure to play, because your rank XP won't deduct it. This would help you, if you're losing a row. Next is P90. Because on the last test server, I saw the calling card with the P90 on the bot. And this calling card was already available. You can get it at Badlands Crate. The P90 has a 50 round magazine, and a very high rate of fire. Due to its extremely large magazine, it is also the weapon able to carry the most maximum ammunition in the game, barring LMGs. The P90 deals 30-20 damage, killing in 4-5 to five shots depending on range. It's a sub-machine gun. I saw other people like want to add this, but other people say that it's look like the Cordite, so we're not sure if they are going to add this. But guys think about it. PDW57 is similar to Razorback, they still add this to the game. Maybe they can put it too. There is still a chance, right? In my opinion, I hope they put a gun that is really useful, because even with a new gun, we still go back to the old guns. If you also notice, there are bots that use unreleased calling cards on the test server, so when there's another test server next, look at their calling card, be observant, because we also do not see everything that we can share in our YouTube channel. If in case they put it in P90 in the future, they might also add it in the battle pass, that's where we get it if this happen, because most of the new guns today are showed in the battle pass for free. Now that we're done with that topic, let's go to the riot shield that get leak in Korea website. Actually I have wanted to share it with you for a long time, but I did not talk it to you guys, however I said it before in my past video, but I do not have much information, until this time. The Korea has released some event, and they put the riot shield. As the example of their event. The event I identified was rank protection. So it's a bit related to the riot shield. We still do not have confirmation if we will have a riot shield. I'm excited if that would be happen sooner. This can help a lot, especially in battle royale, for example if someone rush you, or you want to use this for escape. The riot shields can stop all incoming bullets from where it is facing, only having little exposure. The shield can be used as a melee weapon to bash the helpless target down by force. The shield can also cover your back when not equipped offhand. Riot shield users will most often crouch to keep almost all their front side covered by the shield. While crouch walking with this shield is slow, it is the most defensive tactic one can take while using it. Another effective way to use this shield is to leave it on your back. Since it is strapped behind you, it will deflect any bullets that come into contact with it, leaving less surface area open for enemies to shoot you in the back. Does Riot Shield can destroy? The answer for that is yes. The Riot Shield only breaks when it absorbs too much damage. If in case they add it in COD Mobile, it may be destroyed or detected by FHJ-18. This is very useful for the camper you want to rush, because you have a cover, especially playing in Battle Royale because they can see your footsteps. Probably the best combination of this is the hacker class, because they can no longer use their classes, once you use your hacker class, then you have a riot shield. Let's go to our next topic, the score streak. So far it is leaked to the trailer, but I still have no idea what it really is, some people say that it is an advanced UAV. If it is really advanced UAV. Here's more info. It's in game description. Orbital UAV that reveals the enemy's direction on the mini-map. The advanced UAV is a fixed-wing aircraft that periodically shows the position and direction of enemies on the player's minimap, with higher sweep frequency, relative to the common UAV. The advanced UAV does not give real-time updates of the enemy's movements, instead, it sweeps periodically like the normal UAV. But players with the ghost perk will be shown as red dots instead of arrows. Guys confirmed that there is a new score streak because COD Mobile itself came up with the idea, but they have not yet said if it is UAV or something else. If you have an idea what is score streak that leak in their trailer, let me know on the comment section. Next is the first epic camo of helicopter. This also get leak on their trailer, but they hide the name on it. Maybe that's connected to the theme of season 11. 
Here's the clip of that video, where the epic helicopter get leak. I'm thinking that this will be part of battle pass rewards, or lucky draw. I really can't wait to see other rewards that in the list of season 11. We already know what are the characters, but we don't know yet the rest. So let's keep on eye of that. We only have few days before the new season and new series of rank. Make sure to buy battle pass, because every season, the battle pass is getting more worth it to buy. This more worth it than spending thousands of COD points. We do have more topic to discuss, so don't skip the video yet. Next is the Merc 3. I apologize that I posted and say it's Merc 4, but this is the Merc 3. This character is legendary, and this also got leak on trailer. This is the part where you can see him in the trailer, he can also be rank rewards, or ruin can be also, because they are both in battle royale. I'm not sure if it's really legendary or not. Merc 3 may be the rank rewards because if it's ruin, it been a rank reward many times. Maybe that's not him. After the update our rank will be reset. Like if you're in legendary. Your rank would be in pro 1, and so on. I'll put an image here to know what would be your rank in next series. Next now is the night mode in BR. COD Mobile Vietnam confirmed that we'll going to have a night mode in Battle Royale. If you have ever seen the cemetery near in camp that is a bit dark when you are there. Maybe that's how it is in night mode look likes. In multiplayer there is night mode, but we are not sure if all the maps have it. Because only the standoff has been confirmed. In night mode it is quite difficult for you to see the opponent especially in the BR, because your surroundings are dark. All you have to do is increase your brightness so that you can still see them more easily. Now the exotic arctic will be more useful in this night mode, or the skill of tank. Now here's our last topic of this video. I can say that it has been confirmed that there will definitely be Alcatraz in the battle royale. To those who do not know. Having learned every nook and cranny of the map will definitely give you an advantage when surviving in this small map. You will be able to flank or hide from enemies, give yourself a favorable position, and more. And that's it for this video. If this video help you to learn something new. Please give this video a like, click the subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification. We'll see you next time. Circle blocks imminent. You have a nice day.